Hey everybody, today is June 22nd in 2020. We're going to talk about the numerology of the passing of Max Turk today. He was a former center for the USC Trojans. And a curious detail about this man's NFL career is that he only played one snap during his time in the National Football League, which is a very curious detail, very rare among NFL players to have that distinction. So we're going to talk about how that date, in addition to some other numbers, line up. And we're going to take a look at a few different riddles here. Um, we'll look at some basic numerology and then also the eclipse code, very prominent here in this story. We're also going to glance at this man's astrology and how it relates to his Saturn return. Um, some more interesting things there. So let's get right into it. We start with the number that this man wore during college. During his time for USC, Max Turk wore the number 75 on his jersey. The name Max with capital letters sums to 75. But using the standard alphabetic order, which is the most simple cipher I teach and is really the key to unlocking simple English gematria. In that method, the name Turk also sums to 75. And just today we learned that Turk died while on a hike, which sums to 75 in the reverse alphabetic order. This cipher still assigning the alphabet 1 through 26, but begins with Z, and ends with A. Turk was drafted into the league by the San Diego Chargers during their last season in San Diego. He never actually played any downs with the Chargers. He was suspended for four games in 2017 and then was released. At the end of the season, he played just one snap for the Arizona Cardinals. Using the reduction method, also called Pythagorean Gematria, notice how Arizona Cardinals also sums to 75 in reduction. But what's curious is that the team who drafted him is now called the Los Angeles Chargers. Using the standard alphabetic order, the Los Angeles Chargers sums to 221. Max Turk's birthday is January 27th, which means he died 221 days before his 2021 birthday. What's also curious about the date is that it fell exactly two months and 21 days before the first game of this NFL season coming up here in 2020. But now we're going to tie in astrology, as we commonly do with eclipses, but we're going to run a little deeper here into this uh, decode as well. Now, a very familiar number to people interested in numerology is 314, or 3.14, as these are the first three digits of pi. And in Satanic Gematria, uh, a very relevant cipher that I teach You'll see it here on the bottom right of your screen. This method begins with the number 36. And that's because the 36th triangular number is 666, which is the satanic gematria of satanic gematria in this cipher. So the word eclipse sums to 314 using this method. And of course, an eclipse is the intersection of the two largest circles in the sky. Circles also 314. Well, CNN gave us a very interesting headline. Not only does this sum to 314 using the reverse reduction method, but with the S exception, this headline also sums to 314. I've actually never seen this, a double 314 coding in a headline. Furthermore, if you count the number 26 as a full number, you get another 314 using standard reduction. So this is a big clue. So many 314s in this headline. And when you start to glance at this man's numerology, you realize that he's heavily connected to the total solar eclipse code. 
Max Turk was born in the year 1994. Using English gematria, this method being shown on the right side of your screen, the numerical structure mirrors Hebrew gematria and Greek isopsophy, but uses the current 26-letter alphabet. Well, in that method, total solar eclipse sums to 994. This man was born in 1994. And he was born 280 days before the only total solar eclipse of 94. And this number stands out as well because in Hebrew gematria, total solar eclipse sums to 280. But there's something else that's interesting about this. Notice the date of this 1994 total solar eclipse. I'm just going to plug this into the database for you guys to see. The only total solar eclipse of 94 was on November 3rd. Well, the number 1103 is significant to Max Turk. Using the standard alphabetic order, Max Turk sums to 113. There's two very significant total solar eclipses that create an X over the United States in 2017 and 2024. And we're going to show you how his death is related to both of these total eclipses. Well, on the date of the 2024 Great American Eclipse, check out how old Max Turk would have been. Exactly a span of 11,030 days, just like his name Gematria, reminding us of the one total eclipse in the year he was born on November 3rd, 11-3. By the way, 113 is a prime number. Turk dying on a date with a life lesson number of 30. The 30th prime, 113. Now, if you measure from the date that he passed away, June 20th, 2020, to the date of this eclipse, you get a pretty interesting number. And the reason it's interesting is because this is exactly 3.8 years. 38 is a significant number in death, which sums to 38 in ordinal. Notice how the name Max equals 38, also in ordinal. He played for USC, which gives us a 38 in reverse. He was then drafted by San Diego, which gives us a 38. This is also the reduction value of killing. But there's a really interesting detail here, and I know I've said interesting a lot, but all of this, very intriguing. It's being said that Turk died hiking his favorite trail in Cleveland National Forest. So here I pulled up Cleveland National Forest on Wikipedia, and what we learned is that the forest was named for President Grover Cleveland. So it's only logical to check into the numerology of Grover Cleveland, and we'll dive deep into this as well. Well, notice how his name sums to 163 in the alphabetic order. And 163 is the 38th prime number. In Jewish or Latin gematria, the more significant large number cipher that's seen on the left side of your screen there uses the Latin alphabetic order. Notice how Grover Cleveland sums to 1720, and Max Turk's death in Cleveland National Forest fell on the 172nd day of a leap year. By the way, notice how this 2024 eclipse falls on the date April 8th, or 4 slash 8. San Diego Chargers gives us this gematria of 480 in Jewish. Now, Max Turk has died at the age of 26, and this relates directly to the date on which he died, the 20th of June, written 20 slash 6. Notice how also in Jewish gematria, San Diego equals 206, again like the date 
20-6. His date also fell 20 weeks and 6 days after another famous athlete from Southern California, Kobe Bryant, passed away. Kobe Bryant played for the Lakers, 206. The word sacrifice summing to 206. Now, if we look at the date of the first Great American Eclipse, which was August 21st of 2017, notice how Max Turk was 206 days after his birthday on the date of that eclipse. And now the date he died, 20-6, was essentially the last day before Brown Lunation number 1206. So here you see the full moon taking place just after midnight on June 21st. And our lunation numbers are, are numbered ever since 1923. One more interesting thing about this headline that stuck out to me is that it sums to 611 and 332. In the two ciphers that we've looked at so far, the phrase blood sacrifice, 611 and 332, very uh, stood out very much to me. So next we're going to talk about this 1333 code before we look at his astrology and the Saturn riddle. I talk about number th the number 13 being one of sacrifice quite frequently. The phrase human sacrifice sums to 100 130. Using the reverse order, Max Turk equals 103. He played for the USC Trojans which sums to 130. They're also called the Trojans, 130 ordinal. Well, he was then drafted by the Chargers, and while he played for the Chargers, they moved to L.A. L.A. sums to 13 in ordinal. And his one snap was played for the Arizona Cardinals. And of course, Arizona Cardinals, A.C. 1-3, still in ordinal. So Max Turk played just one snap during his NFL career. That occurred on December 24th of 2017. Measuring from that date to the date that he died, notice how this is exactly a span of 130 weeks. And how about the numerology for the date of this one game he played? 73 and 46? These are also numbers of sacrifice, 73 and 46. Also maybe worth noting, the Cardinals released him on April 12th of 2018. Notice how this was 801 days with the end date before he died. And that release came from the Cardinals, which sums to 81. Now, another number that's significant to these the sacrifice code is 33. And a big part of that, I think, is because 33 has matching gematria with ritual human sacrifice in the Latin code. Now, this man was drafted by the Chargers, which sums to 137, the 33rd prime number. Of course, this all ties into the Eclipse Code as well, Eclipse 33. Well, when we write out the number 33, notice this reverse value of 141. The date that Max Turk was born had primary numerology of 141 and also reduced numerology of 33. The name Turk sums to 33 when it's spelled out like this. Measuring from the first Great American Total Solar Eclipse to the date he died, we get 33 months and 30 days. 
Cleveland National Forest where he died. Check out the coordinates. 33.3 degrees north. This forest is named after Grover Cleveland, who would have been a span of three months and three days after his March 18th birthday. And now it's said that he died on a hike, which equals 33. The word hiker, also 33. He was out with his family. Family equals 33 in reverse. Cleveland, 33. By the way, Cleveland is also the largest city in the United States by population that sums to 33 in reduction. And notice how this forest, check out the nearest city, Corona, California. <laughs> Are you familiar with Corona yet here in 2020? Well, notice how Corona also sums to 33. Now, in Ordinal, Corona also sums to 66. The date on which he died had primary numerology of 66. 66 is, of course, 33 times 2. 33 also sums to 66. Max Turk was drafted 66th overall. And this is even significant to the year, because if you multiply 6 times 6 times 6, you get 216, and he was drafted in 2016. In the alphabetic order, 33 sums to 156. And if you measure from Grover Cleveland's birthday to Max Turk's birthday, you get 156 years. Just uh, punch this in for you. 156 years between their birthdays. What's also pretty interesting, if we look at the date that Grover Cleveland passed away, of course, that's Freemasonry's anniversary, uh, 624 of 1908, Grover Cleveland died 1,027 months before Max Turk was born on the date January 27th, written 1 slash 27. Now, Grover Cleveland, his birthday is March 18th, written 18 slash 3. Check out how Cl Grover Cleveland would currently be 183 years old. Again, reflecting his birthday of 18 slash 3. All right. Finally, I just want to look at the little Saturn riddle that seems to be in here. I'm trying to incorporate this a little more, trying to complete these riddles, as you can't necessarily complete any Gematria code without astrology, I believe. So Max Turk was born on January 27th. Now, January 27th is the time of Aquarius, astrologically, here in Western astrology. Now, the primary planet that rules Aquarius is Saturn. And in, Saturn, or in Hebrew gematria, Saturn sums to 713. This is a big-time number. Think about this in relation to chargers. Chargers, 137. Well, using Satanic Gematria, San Diego Chargers, the team that drafted this guy, sums to 713. Now, I would not have brought that up on its own, but this to me is very interesting. There's that word again. Now, one Saturnian year, the time it takes for Saturn to orbit the sun is exactly 10,759 days. This means that on the date that Max Turk would have turned one Saturnian year old, it would have fallen on the date July 13th, which is written 713. And I noticed that he died 1118 days before his Saturn return. 
His death also fell 11 months and 18 days after the most recent total solar eclipse. And 1118, when I see this number, I instantly think of the 322nd day of the year. Because November 18th, 1118, the 322nd day. Now, this man's Saturn return would have been in the year 2023, 223, the inverse of 322, right? So it does seem like there's a logical connection there. Also, the detriment for Aquarius is the sun. Seemingly logical in light of his death by eclipse numbers. Oh, what I didn't even point out is that this guy turned 26 years old one day after Kobe Bryant died on 20 slash 6. And then he died 20 weeks and 6 days after that date. So, I understand there's a lot here, but to me, this is all extremely relevant. It's consistent in what I decode in a lot of these deaths, especially when it comes to uh, athletes. And how can you deny that the media is well aware of this? I mean, have you ever seen a headline coded with 314 in three different ways like this? Um, it's pretty interesting stuff, and... You know, I get that my decodes aren't getting any simpler, but, um, you know, if, if we just stop at the simple stuff, then I think we're missing a big chunk of the truth. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks to everybody for tuning in, and we'll chat with you next time. Peace, love, God bless. Adios.